Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch for you. Today I have in front of you a watch from Excelsior Park. Now this watch brand has been around for a very, very long time. They were relaunched actually. And this is one of their newer releases. They're actually pretty famous for stopwatches and chronographs. Um, at least in the past. I know they did release a chronograph as well. This is one of the new kind of dress watches. It's a pretty nice dress watch, I must say. A uh, very versatile piece. Um, water resistant as well. I think I thought it looked very nice in this black dial. There are a few uh, different color variations of the dial you can check on the website. I will link them down in the description below. But yeah, just a really, really nice Swiss made automatic dress watch, or I should say manual. This has a manual on movement. Um, but yeah, shipping was really quick. I uh, didn't have any issues. I actually put this watch to the test. I wore it for about 15 days consecutively. I took it in the water. Um, yeah, and it held up really, really good. So if there are a couple little scratches or dings, don't worry about that. I actually really did test this one out. On my wrist today is the 18038 e Rolex Day Date, um, or the President with the Presidential Bracelet, um, a vintage model from 1980. Um, but yeah, still definitely working. Now, if you do purchase one of these Excelsior Park watches, you will get the watch in this nice wood box, as you can see here with two little flip ups. And you open it up and you get your little Excelsior Park since 1866, your warranty card, which is good for two years. Uh, so that's pretty good. You're getting a two year warranty. Nice little latches here, closes up. Definitely good to you know, keep in the house if you want um, to store the watch. Now Excelsior Park has been around for a very, very long time, since 1866. Um, they started producing a lot of movements actually. Um, for a lot of other brands, I must say, watch movements for Gallet, Gerard Perigo, Zenith as well. And they mainly focused on stopwatches and chronographs. Some of their chronographs are very kind of, you know, uh, popular among vintage collectors. And they actually did re-release some of their chronographs, which are actually very nice. You can definitely check those out on their website. Um, this is more of a simple kind of classy dress watch, I must say, with some nice uh, Romans going around the dial there. This is the black dial as a matte black dial. There's also a gray dial. Um, I believe there's a white dial as well. And there are strap options. You do not, do not have to get it on the beads of rice. You can get it on a leather band as well. Price point around a thousand US dollars. I think it's well worth it for the history of the brand and the quality of the actual watch in my hand right here. Now, they did, um, I believe they did stop in 1970, that's when they kind of stopped producing stopwatches and chronographs, and then they relaunched a few years back. And they're doing a pretty good job. I think their watches are very nice for the money. The quality is very, very good. They are Swiss made, of course. They are an original Swiss brand. And yeah, let's get into it. So some basic specifications on this exact model here. We are looking at a 38 millimeter diameter 316L stainless steel case here. We're looking at a case thickness of 9.5 millimeters, which is very thin. Something you want in a dress watch. We're looking at a lug to lug distance or top to bottom of 46 millimeters. So it has some really nice dimensions for the modern watch enthusiast, um, someone who's kind of really into watches. Um, fits on my wrist just perfectly. I have a 6.75 inch wrist. Um, the watch itself also does have 100 meters of water resistance with a pull and push sign crown, as you can see there with the JB logo. You do get drilled lug holes as well. So you can easily swap out bands. This thing does look great on a whole variety of different bands. Um, you know, leather bands, suede bands as well. Of course, we are getting a sapphire crystal, nice domed sapphire crystal there with anti-reflective coating. And the dial is quite simple, easy to read, legible, not too crazy. Excelsior Park printed in white with the original logo below the 12 o'clock position there very neatly. You are getting a 12246810 orientation with markers applied in between, which are polished and faceted. And it looks very nice, very classical, um, you know, but obviously with newer materials compared to their vintage models. Very easy to read, legible at a glance, no issues with that whatsoever. Um, and the glare treatment is pretty good on the crystal, I must say. Even the light shining on it, as you can see there, you can definitely clearly read the time. Um, this watch is using a manual wound movement. We'll get into that in a second. First, let's take an actual look around the watch here. Now, the finishing is mostly brushed. As you can see, there are polished chamfers over here going around the side of the case. Nice little touch there, as you can see there, which is pretty neat. We get brushed sides on the sides of the case. As you can see, that bezel, that smooth bezel is fully polished there. But I must say, the brushing is very good for the price. I think it's definitely worth it. The finishing is uh, definitely, you know, a little more than the price point, I'd say. 
And yeah, feels really good in hands. Not too heavy, not too light, but feels nice on the wrist. Like you have something of good substance on the wrist. Now it comes on this nice beads of rice bracelet, which is 20 millimeters, tapers down to 18. At this very nice clasp, as you can see here, which is custom. I haven't seen this clasp before. A lot of micro adjustments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven micro adjustments on this clasp, which is very nice. Polished on the sides and brushed down the center portion. Has two button release here, a milled clasp here. Clicks in very nicely, not too thick also, which I do appreciate. Very satisfying click. I do appreciate that. And of course, this is a screw link bracelet with solid end links. As you can see, it doesn't completely fold under the watch there like some of you guys like, but it's a 38 millimeter by 46. So, so like this, it's going to fit your wrist just perfectly and actually helps a little bit considering it's 38 millimeters. Um, you know, my wrist, um, you know, it kind of wears like a 39 with the lugs like that. So I think that's good for me. Um, but yeah, other than that, the movement is a hacking movement. As you can see here, you get one position, no date, dateless movement, and then you can set the time, push down, start the second sweep again. Now, it is using actually an interesting caliber inside of this watch. We're using the Landron L21 manual wound movement. So it's a manual wound movement, 36 hours of power reserve. Um, we also do get a beat rate of 4 hertz, 28,800 beats per hour. And it's actually a really, really nice looking movement. You can manually wind it via the crown here. Feels pretty secure. Um, and I want to show you the movement. You get an exhibition case back here, which is really cool. I'm glad they did that. Um, if I can get this to focus here, as you can see, really nice movement. Really nice movement there. You see that balance wheel going off there, blued screws, signed Excelsior Park on the actual movement there. You see the two wheels there. You get some nice perlage work as well. Screw down case back, 100 meters of water resistance. I did take this thing in the water, and I can definitely say... It lives up to its name. Uh, this thing is very durable for a dresser, dressier type of watch. I must say it's really, really durable. I was quite surprised by that. Um, I didn't expect it to be so durable, but I took it in the shower. I took it, I believe, in a pool because uh, I was on vacation. And I wore it all around. I mean, it lived up to its uh, standards, I guess. It's a pretty tough watch for a dress watch. You would not expect something like this to be pretty tough. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty tough watch. Um, but yeah, I like the beads rice bracelet. It's pretty fluid there, as you can see. Easy to adjust. The screws come out, you know, very easily. They don't jam up or anything. Um, but yeah, very pretty cool watch, I must say. Um, there is actually no loom on this watch. The dress watch. Most dress watches don't have any loom. Um, I don't really care about that part, considering it is a dress watch. Um, but yeah, just a really, really neat dial. Simple, clean, easy to read. Nice little signed crown there. Drilled lug holes. And it looks pretty nice. I like the movement. It's been running pretty good, keeping accurate time. About plus two seconds per day, which is very, very nice. Now, I want to get you guys a wrist shot, show you what it looks like on my 6.75 inch wrist. As you can see there on my wrist, this thing is very, very comfortable, I must say. It wears pretty flat on the wrist. Definitely can slip under a cuff there, although it is summertime here. Um, but yeah, I think it's a nice look. You know, you can definitely wear it dressed up or dressed down nowadays. You can kind of go with anything. Any attire will definitely suit this watch. It will look nice with a suit, I must say that. Um, but yeah, very comfortable on the wrist. Doesn't wear too large. It's 38 millimeters by 46 lug to lug. About 47 lug to lug if you add the extra bracelet. Um, but yeah, I think it looks very nice. Furthermore, guys, I think this is a really cool watch. I was really quite surprised. I didn't know anything about this brand prior to receiving this watch. But I can say, um, they're definitely doing a good job. Um, they're definitely keeping the name up there uh, with the quality of the watches and the overall, you know, aesthetics of the watch, finishing and all that good stuff. Uh, I think this movement is just really, really cool. I like the movement, this Landron movement. I've never experienced one before. It's my first time with this movement and it's been running great so far. But anyway, guys, I think it's a great watch. Um, if you're into, you know, kind of slight vintage style dress your watches, this could be something, you know, to add to your collection. Anyway, guys, there are no quality control issues on this model here, and I had a great time with it. Uh, anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, as usual, of this new Excelsior Park release. There are a bunch of different models, a bunch of different dial color colors of this exact model, and I think it's a really cool watch. Uh, I like it. Anyway, guys, definitely throw me a like, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.